Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus, I should be talking. and today we're talking safety. This is one of the most searched for videos we do on our YouTube channel, plus on the website. People want to know, they're putting their families, their wife, their kids, their husbands, their daughters in these trucks. They want to know, are they safe? For years, full-size trucks have been, well, not entirely safe. We've had signs in the glove box that says, no airbags! We die like real men. But in this case, things are changing. And we have a shocker for you that's top of the list. And we're gonna, I'm going to rank the other trucks down below. Well, I'll, down below my head. As far as the 2022 safest full-size trucks. So you're out there shopping for a full-size truck. You can make some good choices on safety for your family in the vehicle. And why does this matter? Well, I like this. Oh! <laughs> so that is the front small overlap crash test. It's a very common test. Imagine hitting a pole, hitting a hitting a tree or something. That's what happens to your vehicle, hitting that at speed without, um, well, avoiding it or excessive braking. So you can see the airbags deploy. You can see the test dummies. You'll see it here in a minute, the test dummy there, and it is gonna smash from the inside. And it is shocking to see what this dummy does. Wow. <laughs> All right. So why am I talking about the 2022 Toyota Tundra? Because, shocker, it goes from worst to first. Yep, it has gone from the worst as far as safety in a full-size truck to the best, including one of the best overall in the marketplace. It actually has a top safety pick plus. That is the highest distinction they can get from the IAIHS, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. It's a nonprofit. They test vehicles for crashing, crash testing and safety and things like that. And then they give awards for the top trucks, which consumers search for. That's why automakers, well, they want a top safety pick plus award. So that's what we have going on. So the Tundra gets it because it has improved in all facets of safety. Remember the old generation hadn't really been updated since like 2006 um, engineering, well, 2007, something in that range. Um, as it had been life cycle for many, many years, it hadn't made any improvements and the testing got harder. So in this case, boom, there we go. It is now the safest full-size truck in the marketplace. We have a story up on pickuptrucktalk.com. And the reason why, you can see it up here, the, dude, the safest full-size truck is a couple things. First of all, um, we'll get this report. The Ford and Ram 1500 both get top safety pick designate, designations, but depending on trim, cab configuration, the Toyota is the only one to get the top safety pick plus. It did that by having a good, or marginal rating on all the safety crashes it did. And it had to get a good or acceptable rating in every trim for headlights. Now, the IHS keeps making testing harder and harder and harder, which is what their goal is, makes it safer for you. And they have now started making sure that headlights are part of their overall testing. Now, does it matter for crash? Yeah, it kind of does. You kind of need to see where you're going. If you don't catch where you're going, more likely hit for a crash. So for the to get the top safety pick plus designation, good or acceptable headlights must be standard across all trims. Now Ram and fifteen hundred and Ford and fifteen F one fifty do not have this. However, the Toyota Tundra has good or acceptable headlights across all of its trim levels, and so it gets the top safety pick plus. Now, looking at our list story here on safest twenty twenty two full size pickup trucks, which one do you want to buy? So I, I want to go down here and we look at the rankings from the IHS and NHTSA ratings. We kind of rank these trucks. So we have, I put the Toyota Tundra as number one. It hasn't been NHTSA rated yet, but getting an IHS top safety pick plus for the crew cab configuration makes a big makes a big deal. Now, you notice a lot of times they'll talk about crew cab or the cab. Um, IHS does not always get a chance to, to do everything with cab configuration stuff. They kind of make a guess on the most popular cab which is a crew cap on these, these trucks. They do do some testing, depending on the automaker, if they send them to the truck or they buy the truck, however it works out. Number two, the Ford and 50 Light, uh, Ford and 50, not Lightning. <laughs> the Ford and 50, it has NHTSA five-star and four-star, depending on the cab configuration. And again, it's not a top safety pick plus because of headlights, not on all trims. Ram 1500 has a NHTSA five-star or four-star, depending on the cab configuration. Again, not top safety pick plus because of headlights. So you, higher trim levels have the better quality headlights. Just keep that in mind. So if you want to be really safe, you get a crew cab and the highest trim level, and you have all the safety features, plus you have the better headlights. Nissan Titan gets number four. And again, this is partly due because it hasn't been designed, redesigned for a little while, and the testing is harder. 
Uh, the Chevy Silverados and GMC Sierra are kind of surprised here. We, we put them five and six because they just, in the rankings, they just didn't do that well. And so the General Motors trucks get marginal ratings here for passenger, whereas Titan gets acceptable. And so if we look down on the chart that uh, managing editor Jill Simonell put on here, you can see the crew cab truck 2022, four to 50. We have good, we have good, 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 good front crash, the operating system. And this is NHTSA. So we don't have the IA, the NHTSA for the um, Toyota Tundra. So Ram, you can see, has good headlights. Ratings apply only to crew cab models. And the headlights here are marginal in some of the trim levels. So good there. You can see poor in some of the trim levels for the Ford and 50. Um, oh, here, the extended cab truck gets, you know, again, these are different trim levels we're putting on the screen. And so you can see the reason why they didn't get a top safety pick plus. Okay. So that's what you need to know on the safest truck. So if we're going to go to these one more time, I'm going to go from the top to bottom. You have Toyota Tundra as number one. Ford and 50, Ram 1500, Nissan Titan, Chevy Silverado, GMC Sierra. And what I find fascinating about all this kind of stuff is, as we know, the Toyota Tundra does not have tow hooks. And one of the um, reasons why I've been explained about that was due to safety. And so now, no tow hooks, top safety pick plus passing all the crest testing, one of the safest trucks in the marketplace. So you can kind of see where their focus was when they designed that truck. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Put your comments below. What do you guess? Is it worthwhile not having tow hooks to have the best safety truck? Is safety even matter to you? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but again, when I watch this stuff, I just think to myself, thanks. <laughs> I mean, that, and that's full speed. You can see that that's that front overlap testing. And behind that front wheel, there's a piece of metal there. It's attached to the frame and it keeps that wheel from going back in the cabin. Uh, be very cautious on some modifi modifiers out there I've talked to who are just slicing it off. It's like, we, it's a waste of metal. Just cut it right off. Don't, no care. Be very cautious. Make sure when you look at a used truck or new tundra or whatever, look behind that tire. There's, it's a little like triangle of metal that comes out. And that basically, it keeps that, I guess not a triangle, it's, it's a square coming out, whatever. It keeps that tire from going back in the cabin and damaging the person's legs, especially like a passenger leg or driver's side leg. If you get that tire up into the um, cabin, it will, well, it won't end well. <laughs> that's that's the best I got for you there. So yeah, again, like I said, recap, Tundra, uh, Ford 50, Ram, Silverado's, the, the Nissan Titan, higher trim level, you get more standard safety equipment, you get better headlights. So if you're out there shopping, it's, sometimes it's worth a little bit more money to get that safer vehicle. And headlights do make a difference. I drive a lot of trucks every year. And I can tell you, I am shocked at some vehicles that still have rather poor headlights. Seems like that's something we could do across the board. Trucks are expensive anyways. Just make them safer. There you go. So for more truck videos over here, website down below, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.